guys welcome back to rivals daily um you're with your host jack in the middle and uh so we're gonna start out today transferring a few cars all right um so while that's going on your screen just want to um remind you guys to please check out my other channel for live stream jack in the middle live the link will be in the description of this video here i will not actually be live streaming today though I did live stream last night, um, but just kind of a, as an internet test, we were just messing around a little bit. I had a little bit of fun, a few people joined me. Um, but, uh, but I won't be doing it today because I really need to catch up with uh, video making. So I'm going to, and it, and it takes me a little time. Um, as, a, as a matter of fact, you guys, the video you're watching now should have been up to you yesterday. But just we had um, a little bit of internet issues and then... I actually went and did the live stream and got a little bit too drunk in the live stream so I wasn't able to finish up the video last night all right so um, so I'm, I decided to give you your video anyways and um, so having said that um, I didn't really get any comments this was supposed to make it to you yesterday and you guys were supposed to comment let me know what cars you guys want to see me um, start upgrading for turf this weekend but I guess um, pretty much I'll, I'll end up picking the cars. And I did um, actually pick a few suggestions already. I did, um, you know, I was offering some suggestions here at the end of this video here. So, um, so what you guys are seeing on your screen now is, of course, you know, me transferring cars. You guys are used to me doing that right now. Um, but it's just making the garage a safe place for us. Well, well um, more homely, basically. We're doing um, some spring cleaning, even though it's still winter. Basically, we're cleaning up the garage so that I could start getting into building cars and, um, you know, see, we're, we're trying to focus on turf wars for this year, trying to, um, you know, place higher, have get our cars tuned, have cars ready for turf wars, you know, whatever we need to do. So just really trying to clean up the garage as much as possible, lining up the way I would like it to, to look. And um, basically, you know, a lot of the cars that are in the garage right now are just cars that I have ideas for that. Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. But, you know, I want to put you guys first and make sure that whatever I'm doing, you know, it's something you guys want to see also. So Turf Wars pretty much is always relevant and it's relevant to me also that it will keep me in line. So this is going to be the last car here that I actually transfer. So from here, I'm going to actually pick up a car now. So that's what we're doing. Um, we were, um, we're going to actually pick up this Nissan GTR Skyline. Um, I may or may not use this one for turf. You guys saw from the video, well, two days ago now, that, uh, you know, but um, the video from the 7th that, you know, um, they have the R33 in the performance crates now. So I thought it would be a good car to use, not only for B-Class on the first event, B-Class all-wheel drive, but we could use it for JDM also. So I had one in my garage, of course. This is my car, my collectible car. So basically, I'm bringing it over to be the guinea pig for my for testing the tune. So um, basically, if, I'm, if I know I'm keeping a car in my garage, then I don't mind you know putting a spending a lot of um spending all that money trying to find the, the, the perfect upgrade for the car you know um I, I i hate to i hate to have a car you know you're gonna pink it but then you have all a lo loads of extra parts on the car just because you were trying to find the perfect tune so basically i'm going to use that car as my guinea pig and um test that with the tune first see what tune works and um you know so basically it will be my experiment car i could add extra stuff to it take it off if i need to whatever and, and it's just there for me to play with it some other time and then um once i'm satisfied with the tune i have um and then i'll i'll you know um put it on uh put it on the car we're going to use kind of like what we did with the ford focus titanium so here i'm just showcasing for you right now um starting with the um the r33 you guys just see now we're um, showcasing you for you the uh, the um wrx this one here, we're going to try to tune it to 1650. We do have a 1645. Um, I don't remember if we made a video for that or not, but we do have a 1645 in the garage already. And uh, But this one, I decided I'm going to take it to 1650 because you really start, the higher the, higher the lobby 
goes, you um, the higher the points you make for races. So I want to take it to 1650. This, of course, you guys saw from last week's turf, uh, January 5th turf was our C-Class rear-wheel drive vehicle. But they have C-Class Hondas again this week. They're, they're repeating Hondas pretty much. So I said, uh, you know, let's go ahead and use it. If we have time, I will try to um, make another one. So we have two cars and I could, I could push a little bit harder when the, work, when the first one breaks. This is going to be A-Class. Is it A-Class JDM? As a matter of fact, it is A-Class JDM. So I, I won't be able to use the B-Class. But I have another car, the Toyota Supra, which we... Um, I actually did not end up racing this car at all last week, but I think she's ready to go and she'll be ready for this week's turf. So from here after here, the next thing we're going to do on the video, we are going to go over to the shipyard, I believe. And um, we're going to go ahead and pick up some crates from the shipyard. We're going to go ahead and basically open the car, find one of the cars that we're actually going to use in um, for b-class all-wheel drive so you know i'm gonna open that open that up for you guys um i don't know if anyone should be mentioning this i, I want to start doing pinking like at least once a week for you guys and i was thinking to use a car that we got from the performance crates so basically it, you know it, it would be um the r33 um I, uh, however i'm not going to push for that this week since i am kind of just getting back into you know doing this on a daily basis for you guys it, it's um uh, it's a little bit overwhelming with the schedule you know or, or, you know with just with the craziness that goes on in my house um my mom was on vacation she went to jamaica and she just came back and i'm, I'm realizing finally that she is a bigger noise maker in the house than the kids are and um so this video is a little bit late for you guys here today also because i had to wait until she left the house so it would be quiet that i could um actually make this video for you she was just up and down back and forth the doors are open she's clanging and banging everything and it was like you know you could tell the kids to go sit in the corner but you know you how do you tell your mom to go sit in the corner and let you make a video all right so um so here we are opening some crates and um as as you guys saw i do have for myself a collectible r33 so i was like i was actually shooting we did get a few cars already but i was shooting for carbon fiber parts which we didn't get very many of um in this video here but you know i decided all right you know what i have enough we'll just stop and uh we'll just go from there all right so um if you guys are still with me you know please go uh, like the video share the video don't forget to um, check out my other channel, Jack in the Middle Live. All right, um, and you, I do okay regularly. I, normally, I do regularly do live stream. So I want to start taking it to a point where I do two live streams a day for you guys, and I want to make it to the point where I'm making two videos a day for you guys. But like I said, I just have to start working it out for you guys. I hope you guys understand. I'm a new channel, growing channel. At, you know. Um, it's it's not making any money from youtube right now so it's, it's i don't really have a setup for a, or a quiet place like a, a lab or a studio or soundproof studio to make these so i want to apologize in advance i want to stop delaying the video so i kind of want to give you guys a heads up that i might start making videos even through the chaos so you might guys might hear kids sh shouting and screaming in the background moms clanging and banging in the background while i am making a video i'm going to try to stay focused talk to you guys talk into the microphone be clear be concise make the video for you still make it the way i'm making it where as far as because um where i actually do the recording is different from where i get to um to or where i do my the vocal recording is different from where i do the video recording so the videos normally come out quiet you know are quiet enough uh, that you guys could um get to hear the sounds like you guys are hearing the crate the crate slam and you know the the music in the background and stuff like that and I, I wanted that i wanted you guys to have that experience um me personally i hope you guys appreciate it i hate to watch a video that there's no commenting on so you know I, I some and i actually find that there's a lot of people that do like videos where there's no commenting they they just sit and they watch what's happening on screen but me personally i don't like it and um 
you know, I used to show my face and everything. I used to have the face cam going. I really, I stopped doing the face cam because, uh, well, one, it doesn't work in this situation of me editing the, the, the new way of editing the videos. Um, but um, it also slows down the gameplay. It's, uh, you know, um, when it, it lags the gameplay and a game like Racing Rival, lag, lags, lag will kill you, you know, lag will kill your gameplay pretty much. All right, um, so we are close to the end of the video and I want to thank you guys so, so much for, you know, for being here this whole time with me. And, um, you know, so we're pretty much going to wrap it up right around here. I'm uh, just showing you the inventory and we are done. So I want to thank you guys for being here, for hanging out with me. And, uh, you know, appreciate you guys so, so much. All right. A giveaway coming up soon. So you guys stay tuned for that. And, um, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one.